Welcome to RichTech. Today you're going to attempt to repair this MagSafe 2 cable. It's a replacement cable as you can see from this junction. The original ones have this kind of junction. So this is a replacement cable and uh, it is not working. We connected this uh, power adapter to a power source and uh, We'll connect that to the MacBook and this other side will connect to the charger so as to show you that this is not working those two when they're connected there this should light up it's not so that shows that this cable has a problem in comparison to this other cable Connect it to the MacBook. And this other end connected to the charger, same charger. Match the colors. It's lighting up. So this cable is working and this other one is dead so i'm going to attempt to repair this cable um, with this replacement cables we usually have a problem right here if not here at the junction we have it right at the point where the cable joins the connector so that one is difficult to repair this one is easy to repair so let's dive into this you're going to cut off a piece of this end and see if it makes any difference first of all I need to slide this junction back by pulling the cable using this uh, pair of pliers and I am assuming there is a break in the cable somewhere here so I want to cut this cable at some point along its length just give it a safe distance and then prepare this end and test it again that's the piece we've removed that's the end we've stripped let's test it again so put this end to a MacBook and these are the end Connect it to the charger, matching the wires, of course. You can see that it is working. You can see the light at the connector here. Let me test this again. There it is. So this cable and the connector was good except for the piece we cut off. Now let's see what was wrong with this piece we cut out. Mostly at this level, at this point there is usually a lot of strain on the cable and that's the point which joins the charger at the junction. So when we have such a strain we have uh, breakages in the cable and with these replacement cables you expect that kind of damage they don't have the quality of the durability to last the strain that is uh, imposed on them so we, I'll cut this open and see why this portion of the cable was not allowing power to go through it I'm cutting this cable or rather I'm removing the whole rubber insulation to see if there is a break in this cable which would uh, explain why it wasn't working is a inside of the cable 
Let's peel this back. And here is where we have a problem. Don't know if you can see this. If we separate the negative and the positive, the negative is the bare one. See that? There was a break in the cable, and this is uh, what was causing the malfunctioning of the cable. And this is the problem with these are replacement cables because they are not so durable. At the junction where the cable meets the adapter, at that point there is a lot of strain and a lot of heat heating up. And this is what happens. The insulation breaks down and uh, the wire is exposed and there is a short these are is dangerous to your laptop so when you are using this replacement cables you should be careful about this that this is one of the things which will happen and if you want to repair them this is one of the things you look at of course the macbook is intelligent it will cut off the power when there is such a short but this is still not uh, acceptable and that's why you are not able to have power at the connector end once this is resolved as you can see the uh, cable is working fine this end is now fine that's how you repair these replacement cables even though the advice use of a new uh, original cable this is the danger you have with these replacement cables thanks again for watching i appreciate your time if you like this content kindly consider subscribing liking and sharing also watch other videos in the channel and give me your feedback I would appreciate things.